Now we've got a problem here, but, but it's currently sinking at the moment. Gotta keep him separated from Big Joe. Oh, look at that tongue. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. A lot of you have been asking about this guy. Looky here, looky here. Our baby boy. This is Mr. Dom. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, look at that tongue. So rough. Woo. So rough. <laughs> Gonna give this guy some cubes real quick. Just a. Oh, man. If you guys have never felt a bison's tongue, it is. Super rough. Okay, here, let's put my hand in there. There we go. It's usually easier if you get the longer cubes, like these. Here, just shove them in there so he doesn't eat your hand. They don't eat your hand, I'm just kidding, they won't eat it. So they use that tongue, that's how they do a lot of grazing. Use that big old rough tongue you have ever had a cat lick you? It's a pretty rough, it reminds me of a cat, but much on a larger, larger scale, of course. Here you go, Dunbar. And uh, if you guys don't remember, Dunbar hurt this eye last summer. Oh, ah. and uh, hey, big boy. And it has healed up very, very well. And you can see it right there. It's doing pretty good. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah. Some of you have been wondering, what about Dunbar? What's he doing? Well, he's up here in the front. He's been getting special treatment like that. As you can see, he's you know, following me around, but he's been getting all the special treatment. He's got some ladies with him. Got to keep him separated from Big Joe. We, we're still deciding what we want to do with him. I think we have some plans for Mr. Dunbar. And uh, we're going to talk about those eventually with you. Uh, we got to go take care of the Big Joe herd today. We're going to haul some hay without a tractor. I don't have a tractor at this property, but I've got to get some hay hauled over here because we're out at the Ponderosa. Got to do that today. Hanging out with our boy here. I want to thank Hydrabed for sponsoring today's video. And this bed is making a huge difference. I love it. Ranching is real with the Hydrabed. Gonna try something. Gonna haul some hay with the Hydrabed, but it's basically gonna be the tractor today um, because I've got my flatbed with me. I'm over at our lease property that we're actually setting up. We don't have bison over here yet. This past summer, I came over here and showed you this place and kind of introduced it to you where we're still doing a lot of work, working with the landowner, which is a friend of ours, to get this lease going and get it bison ready. So I'm gonna unhook this trailer because I'm gonna use the hydro bed to set the bells on it. Uh, I've never done this before, but we're gonna try it um, for sure. I've got the hay sitting right over here behind me and uh, I've, I'm out of hay at the Ponderosa, so we got to get it over there. But we're going to load it on here. So, um, of course, I've got to unhook the trailer. And then we'll start putting bales on it. Got to put the weight here first because if I put it in the back, not good. Of course, you got to unhook the trailer, which is kind of a pain in the butt.
right, so now we're gonna back up to the trailer. I'm gonna try to see how this works for the first time. I don't know where my arms will hit. I don't know how soft it'll be when it lands. We're gonna try it right here and see how it goes. So I had the hydro sticks on right here inside the cab. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off. I'm gonna grab my remote so I can go back here and watch it. Basically, make sure I'm not screwing this up. So it looks like I can come back a little bit more here on this, but um, I just basically wanna set it there just like that. That's how I'd normally do it. Even if I had a tractor, Part. okay so now i'm just gonna make sure my bars are in good shape here set her down look at that that's handy. I can come back here and actually watch it using the remote control hydro sticks. And uh, even if I had a tractor, this is how I typically load them, would be from the back and I shove them all the way to the front. So we can probably safely get two more on there. The only worry is I'm sunk down a little bit from the moisture here. You can see the ground's a little, little wet. That's the only bad part. But I do like this so far it's working. And the reason I had to stack these like this is if the hay is stacked, like it is right now. I can't get the hydro bed in there from the side to clamp down here in the middle. This is where the bit is supposed to go is right here, squeeze it down, but I can't get it from the side. So I have to grab them from this side to pull them out so I can get them from this side if that makes any sense. This is a pretty place though, real pretty morning. This place had a lot of Johnson grass on it this summer, but it's a typical Johnson grass hay meadow. Go bell number two. Get her on here. The only concern now is, is my arm gonna hit over there? I'll switch to their side. This ground is wet. Okay, so that's my only concern. I may have to drop it a little bit. Some easy. I'm gonna bump it a little bit. Wrap came off. So here's the interesting part. We're gonna loosen it up. We're gonna bring her back. Hey, look at there. Two down. I'm gonna put one more on there. Last one, we're gonna try this again. I got it a little tight over here, but we'll come down with it. That'll work, that'll work. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty for sure. The only bad part, is uh we're sunk about a foot into the ground so uh and it's just sinking constantly so that's great <laughs> so i feel like everything's been going pretty well but there's something that always goes wrong and um yep definitely sunk in the ground but i know we've got a problem here but i don't stress out too much yet yet um but it's currently sinking at the moment. This ground is way more moist than I thought it was. And um, apparently there's no rock up here, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. So we've got a problem now. And now I've got to figure out how to lift that up so I can, because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to jack it up. But I got an idea. I think we can uh, maybe solve this. Oh, it just keeps sinking.
Rusty. Got an idea, guys. Maybe a little wild and crazy, but I think we're gonna try it. If you guys can see, way down in there. Why you always have a chain with you? Never know when you'll need it. I know some of you are going, Dusty, what are you doing? That's not gonna work. Well, you know, this is the first method I thought would may work. So I'm gonna try guys. We'll see. Here we go. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go around and get in square in the middle. Still sinking. We got it. Thanks to Hydra Bed. Woo! <laughs> Thank gosh for chain and the Hydra Bed arm beds. Woo! Who needs a tractor? <laughs> we actually do need tractors occasionally. Well, note taken. So much easier. I can sit here and control this instead of getting in and out of the truck using this controller here. Simply doing that, guys, that is so handy and awesome. We're going to go ahead and lift this back up. That makes it so much easier. Man, I'm really pleased at uh the versatility of this whiten them back out oh wrong way there we go we're gonna get a couple more and then we'll be ready to hit the road Well, there it is, guys. Actually, a storm, little storm looks like it's blowing through, but had a goal, figured out there was a problem, found the solution, Hydra Bed got it done for us. We're loaded down, don't look pretty. Double stacked here on the truck, we're ready to go. We got five headed to the Ponderosa. Got all three of those unloaded. That's just my quick way to get them unloaded since I can't reach them from the back. I could have reached that first one from the back, but now we got our two. We're gonna unhook our trailer and go feed the big Joe herd. Hello, sunshine. What are you doing? Oh, oh you stop it. Just stop it. Hey kind of in my way but I got surrounded 
Oh dear. Quit messing with the feed. Do you want to hop in with me, hon? Bullet! Hey, Bullet! Hey, buddy! Yeah, the next bison wiener dog. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Hey, buddy. Here they go work some bison. Oh, I hear some belting. Oh, what was that? Was that Big Joe? Awesome Big Joe fighting, as always. This is an everyday occurrence now between these two. There, uh, since there's been some love in the air between some of these females coming in heat, um, there has been some competition between the two. And so Big Hoss has got to put his stance down on things and uh, show his young, I guess, cockiness is probably the right word for describing Hoss. Speaking of another character here, Miss Eleanor, our princess, looking all pregnant and stuff. There's the herd back there. Want to thank Hydra Bed for sponsoring today's video. Love this arm bed. It has been so awesome for us and our family. Guys, if you are ranching, it doesn't matter if it's bison or cattle, you might want to look into Hydra Bed. It makes a huge difference on the ranch and uh, it is bison tough as you can tell. I've had it for about three or four months now, and I can't believe we've done this much without it. It's very versatile and can do a lot of stuff and can surprise the heck out of you. Click the link below, or you can pick up the phone, call Hydra Bed. You can go to their website, guys, and you can check out their dealerships. Put in your zip code, your city, your state, wherever you're located, if you're interested in Hydra Bed, and you can find a dealer near you great product good people I want to thank them for their help today got some hay hauled got dunbar some love took care of the big joe herd slash hoss and them and the boys being goofy as always thank you guys for watching us